What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Bear Necessity TCG, and today we're going to be talking about Legion's Realms at War. Now, I heard about this TCG from a fellow YouTuber, Prodigious TCC. It's a Canadian-based card game that's been around for, I believe, two years, and so I went on their website and ordered the starter two-player battle deck. With the Undead and the Titans, I also picked up a play mat, which I will show you in a second. And they also did send me kind of a care package, which I'm very grateful, by the way. So um, I don't know who sent it, whether it's the owner or someone that just works there, but I want to thank you. They included some of the Empire on the Rise booster packs. There's also two of these Bountiful Harvest uh, expansion sets, and then also a blister set which i think is their booster box which comes with 18 packs and 10 cards per pack of frontiers so thank you again for sending me all that um i'm really looking forward to opening this you know the starters the packs and everything and getting some games in uh through webcam because i'm in vegas and nobody's heard about this game down here at least at the lgs's so Let's switch over. This is the playmat I got. I guess he's a baby vampire. I don't know too much. I just know there's eight uh, different legions, and he's probably part of the undead. I just think it's a really cool art that they have going on for that. So first thing I want to get into is the two-player battle deck. And I watched a how-to play. And as you can see, this is not even the whole play mat there's sections two more sections on the right and some sections on the left there are a lot of things going on in this game and from what others were saying it's similar to Yu-Gi-Oh. now i've never played Yu-Gi-Oh. uh i don't know where i was when Yu-Gi-Oh was a thing on tv but <laughs> i think at the time i was playing magic and just magic actually so, I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about the gameplay yet. Because I have no frame of reference. I just know that Yu-Gi-Oh! You can play a lot of cards in one turn. And I hear you can do that uh, in this game also. And really work on the combos. So, we have our two decks right here. Those look like our, I was going to say commanders, but they are called Warlords. And we have Mortis and Prometheus. Along with that, we have two Ravaged Lands booster packs and some rules. We're not get, gonna get too much into the rules. Um, again, it seems like one of those... Uh, well, actually, every card game seems like it's complicated at first, but then as you know the rules, it's it's not that bad. Um, so I'm sure I'll get the hang of it. Let's see. I like undead. So we'll save that for last. The Titans. That's an interesting choice for a Legion. I've seen card games do, uh, gods, uh, but not Titans. Titans don't get as much, uh, not respect, uh, publicity exposure. There we go. They don't get as much exposure uh, as a tribal deck as a lot of the other things would. All right, one thing I'm liking already is they are standard size. They're not small like Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Um, and I swear I'm going to stop comparing it to Yu-Gi-Oh. It's just that is kind of... It's the only reference that people have made as far as uh, YouTube comments and things like that. So we have our first, so it's the Warlord, our foil card. Kind of a standard foil going on. Artwork is really nice on him, though. A lot of text. I I noticed that this card game has a lot of text, which may not be a bad thing. It it just means you know more information can be conveyed on the cards, which is pretty good. Um, because once you get the hang of the game, you don't want it to be so super simplified or anything like that so a lot of text adds to that um one thing i am noticing when flipping through the cards is the artwork seems kind of 
all over the place. I shouldn't say all over the place. That's a bad way. Uh, it's definitely different than the Warlord. But let's talk about kind of the card design here. Got a basic turn structure, though, and some cards that are kind of like ads. So I want to take, we'll take a random one. From the middle, we have Prometheus Sacrifice. Um, the text, it's kind of small, uh, but I can read it. I mean, I have to put it closer to my face to read it or read it or look at the actual monitor to see. Um, but it's clean for what it is. Uh, Bloodborne 6, I believe that's kind of kind of your mana mana in a way you take away from your life to play a lot of these things uh you can only activate this card if your titan warlord is prometheus the eternal spirit so you got a lot of tribal things going on uh which looks like you're gonna have to select some uh the proper warlord that you want to play for certain cards uh, negate the activation of an opponent's fortified card that targets one or more titan cards on your side of the field kind of a counter spell going on um, if this card is eradicated, you can pay six. Add this card from your eradication zone to your hand. So a little uh, graveyard removal flavor text in the lower right. And then artist lower left look like crow skin. Um, and card was in 2021. So. And the backs. I forgot the backs. So it looks like this orc seems to be their... Um, kind of mascot for the game uh and putting it on putting her on the back of the card you're really like you can't change that that is it for the life of the game so they must have really loved this orc i like it because it has that pastel watercolor edge going on and that's some of my favorite art uh and you know just a great looking mascot So we'll put that aside. We have our undead, which is purple. A lot of cards going with purple. Purple is my favorite color, so I'm not hating on it. But I remember magic. Man, it's just black. You know, swamps and black. And now the equivalent of that seems to be purple. So, okay. All right, so we have Mortis here. Um... A Veal of Death. Actually, looking at it, one thing, I can easily read it. But at the same time, it's kind of kind of wonky at first for your brain is to read it on the side. So, uh, Camellia? Yeah, Camellia's Grim Cry of Death. Easy to read, just takes a second for your brain to like click and you can read it um, on the side. Um, not a deal breaker... It's going to be a little annoying to sort because I, I store my cards like this in uh, in bulk boxes and everything. So I'm always flipping through them like that. So kind of annoying, but I might be able to get a box, put them on the side, and then sort them that way. I sell a lot of cards on the TCG Player. So unfortunately, this game's not on there yet. Uh, if it ever is, then I'll be looking forward to selling those cards too. I don't really want to sell them on eBay. But I sell cards to fund my my channel, my hobby, and just everything like that. So everything's for sale. These will all be for sale, the ones I don't play with. Um, but opening the first pack. Let's see what we have here. Actually, where is the, the rarity? So I want to say the Raiders in the lower left with that star. So, Gamble with Life, Blight, the Putrefied Bog, Being. That is something, I looked at the cards and I really wanted to, you know, play something with just poison, swampy, just that green muckiness. Slow but Grim Decay. We have two stars on that, so I think the rarity is going up. That's probably like an uncommon and then a Tall Shield from Ancient Storm Held. Tall Shield from... Yeah, okay. See, it's a, it's a little hard, but I got it. Um, we have a token. 
And Sleepy by Putrid Puppet of the Sickness. So I'm on my way to making a putrid deck. Ah, I always do this. I always forget to look up the rarities and everything when I'm opening packs, but it's okay. Salvage the Wagon, Pyro, Resistance Recruit, Barrel Bomb from the Hood, Unstoppable, then... Ah, Unstoppable Titan Warforce, <laughs> uh, Land of Life and Ice, and we have a Encased in Sprite Magic, Armored Warbore. Uh, I love the animals when they do that. And we have a medic. So, don't believe we have any huge hits going on in there. But now, I'm not going to open everything today. But we'll go through these packs and see what we got. I, and I also wonder how easy this game is going to be to play on um, through webcam. I'm going to try it, but there is a lot of stuff going on, a lot of placement, things you have to keep in um, in focus in the camera, and a lot of reading. It's going to be a lot of me being like, what is that? What is that, too? All right, our first foil, it's got four stars, shiny. Helios and Luna, Chaos, Divine Lovers. So I'm, I like how the Titans have a kind of, it has a, a history to it, um, which is kind of cool. They're probably going to go on, you know, fables and folklore and myths, which could be a cool thing. And then there's dragons and there's all sorts of stuff. I should probably sleeve that one up. I'll get to it later. But yeah, I came in thinking I'm going to try to play some undead. And now I'm like, you know what? Titans are looking pretty cool. Grim Chamber, Rogue Wire Trap, Lost Mine. Grim Grimoire, Chapter 3. So they sandwich the rare cards in the middle of the packs. And I'm not the type to rearrange it to, to pull, at, pull that at the end. That's just too much work. When they do it in Pokemon, they're like, all right, three to the back or however they do it. Ooh, what is this? Calamity Naga of the Putrid Venom. That's what I'm talking about. Just putrid and venomous. Yeah, art's definitely different in this set. They have a sort of... I don't know what the word is. Maybe just overexposed when it comes to the colors. Now, I don't mean like they messed up. I just mean it's just purposefully that way. Like this, for example, this crystal dragon egg. It's just saturated with colors. Same thing with uh, the Titan War. The, the colors are just so saturated as opposed to... Let's see. Let's find one that isn't. Um, this one, for example, isn't as much. It's more bright. Uh, this one also has more of a just regular painting look to it. And I heard the new set is going to have an anime-ish inspired theme, which uh, I'm not a huge fan of anime, but I do like games that can hop around different art styles. They can do a little anime, they can do a little cartoonish, you know, more serious and sinister. Because you don't want to paint yourself into a corner. Um, I mean, Pokemon does just fine because that's just, you know, it's cartoon. That's what it is. 
Uh, same thing with Digimon and stuff. But you don't want to be pigeonholed into one art when it comes to a broad fantasy type game. So I like how this, you know, I like how Legions is experimenting with their art and, you know, get, I'm assuming getting new artists as they go and, and grow. Um, veil of endless, uh, bleh, endless putrefaction, uh, Magpie, the putrid rot worm. Oh, I don't even know how to start building a deck. I don't know where to begin. This is going to be rough. It's also rough that I play so many other card games, too. It, it's really hard to keep up with um, with creating good decks and you know getting new cards to add to it. Uh, I'm not the type that uh, just goes and makes meta decks just to win. I like to have fun with it. I like to have a theme. All my decks have a theme and it, they're not great because <laughs> I'll be forcing cards in. I'll be like, oh, it's such a cool card. I want to play it. All right, another hollow. Bounty Hunter Viper. Got next. Dwarves are kind of interesting too, but then so are orcs. Oh, no, I don't know who to play. There's dragons in here too. There's like mythical beasts. Like Hydras probably and Chimera. And and there's a, a mystic fire mountain terror. Just, just a sheep. Just a ram. Wonder what set the uh the vampire babies in. Let me try to pull him. I don't know what he does. I mean, he's got to be something. There's got to be something going on with him. Just because uh, he's on a play mat. Okay, okay, one more. One more. These things are pretty cool to open, so we're just going to open one more thing before ending the video. If I can get it open. Oh, no, I need, need someone with nails. Okay, we can do this. I can do this. I just got to destroy the box slightly. Okay, there we go. Hopefully there's nothing that I can break in here by doing that. Hold on. What? Oh, am I opening this? Wrong? Okay, we're... They're going to be mad at me. They put all this effort in this box and I'm just terrorizing it and sticking fingers everywhere okay that's the box i was supposed to open it from here i didn't next time i have another one this is just practice this is practice so our promo card is this fortified ancient relic shield of solidarity that's cool and then we have our five Bountiful Harvest, first edition. I don't know if they got into second edition yet on the sets. I just see everything they sent me said first edition on it, so maybe it's just too new. And we have, oh, that's cool. I like bears, antler bears. Uh, I wish I knew more of what I was looking... Oh. That might have been from my finger poking through it. <laughs> um, I'm graceful here. <laughs> okay. So... Are these all... These are all gray. So are these all universal? I'm going to go with they are universal. Is that a badger man? No, that's a man with his face painted. Yeah. He fooled me. Great feast. Fruitful farmer. 
Yeah, there's there's something going on with these cards, and I don't know what it is. You know, with them being all gray. Ooh, kind of a Plague Doctor Warrior. Recover six. When this warrior enters play, the controlling player can choose to reduce the damage counter max of their warlord by the recovery num number. That means nothing to me right now. Nothing until I start playing and try to figure out what it all means. Uh, severed connection. Yeah, I'm at a loss here. Sawmill, Mystic Waters. Two more packs to go. All right, let's look at the rarity this time. I haven't been doing that. So we have our three stars here. Uh, Viviana, the Festive Royalty. At the start of the game, after Mulligan, search your deck for one Alberton Bounty Realm card. Add the search card to your hand. Consume 10. If your warlord uses their special ability for the first time this turn, you can search your deck for one Alberton and or one Magic Bounty Realm card. Add the search card to your hand. That's something that I heard. There's a lot of search in this card game. So it's play cards, play cards, play cards till you kind of get your combos. And then from there, unleash hell. Slightly different play style than I'm used to. But who knows? Maybe it's one of those things I play once and then I'm just like, this is amazing. I love it. Magic. The cost of the admission. Second chance. Oh, it's the same guy again. It's Badger Man that I forget. Or that I completely messed up. Oh, let's get this back. This is another three star. Um, Dynamite Dice Dealer. And that is it. Those are the pulls. Those are everything. I, I Just everything that is here. I don't... I really don't know what's good. I don't know what's bad. I don't know what's great. Um, but I also didn't want to be blinded by that. Actually, going back to it, this looks like it might be something pretty fancy. Just based on the four stars, everything's uh, shiny. Um, Helios and Luna, Chaos Divine Lovers. I don't know who Helios is, but that sounds very familiar from like mythology i'll have to look that up but super cool might be swayed to play titans if there's a lot of cards that are like this that uh calls upon just mythology and characters that i've read in books or seen on tv um then i will be probably playing the titans but so overall first impressions uh, this is just opening the cards, seeing the cards, feeling the cards. You know, the cards feel, you know, they have a nice card stock to them. They don't feel cheap or anything like that. They're pretty much standard with all the other card games that we have out right now. Um, and looks wise, uh, it looks unique enough to where it, you can tell that, you know, in the future, you'll hold up one of these and just people will be like, oh, yeah, that's a realms. Um or Legion's Realms at War card. I don't know if they... Elra, Ra, I, I don't know what they call it for short, but uh, I think that's a major thing to it. You don't want to pick up a card and kind of be like, is that, is that magic? Is that sorcery? Is that cryptic? Is that Pokemon? Is that flesh and blood? You know, you, you don't want it so similar. So this, um, you know, it has that unique identity. It's been around for two years. I believe going on three, there's new sets that are coming out. They're running tournaments and going to conventions. They're on their way to establishing themselves. Um, I know they're probably establishing Canada, but as far as the United States, I, I there's probably shops um, more towards the north that probably have them, you know, maybe on the east. 
But here in Vegas, no, uh, I don't know any shop that has it. No one that I've talked to has heard about it. So I plan on playing the game and seeing if I like it. If I do like it, I'm going to continue to spread the word. And again, I want to thank, um, thank the Legions team for sending me all this extra bonus stuff. I really was just looking to play a couple games, see what I liked. But you just overdid it, and I am very grateful for it. So, with all that being said, look out for some gameplay videos. It's going to be fun. Um, they'll be coming soon, and I will catch everyone next time.